watching hi guys and welcome back to my channel today is our first video from the mask series i hope you're excited if you don't know where your mask is i prepared another video which i already posted where you can find the planets in your chart as well as your mask and then depending on which mask placement you have you can pick the video of your choice like let's say mars in mars and aries if you have mars and aries this is your video if you have mars and taurus there's another video if you have mars and scorpio don't watch this video <laughs> today's video is gonna be about mars and aries Woo! look at this beautiful planet mars yeah and when you were born mars was in the aries constellation while Venus is what we attract, what we love, our love style, Mars is how we react, our drive, also our sex drive, our passion and how we get what we want. It's our rhythm, it's our willpower and it's our stamina. <laughs> so Mars in Aries is similar to Mars in the first house, but I will do separate videos for you to really distinguish them and see how similar they are or how they are not similar. So the erogenous zones of a Mars in Aries is the head, not the hat, <laughs> the head and people like the hair, like this head area. Oh, and I forgot, they, they're into the ass, <laughs> the um, derriere, the back. Mars being in Aries already means that it's in its element, where it's supposed to be. It's like a really good Mars to have. It's natural to have your Mars in Aries because the planet of Aries is Mars. So you're supposed to like act quickly. You're supposed to like react quickly. It's not like slow reaction. So it's the planet of action and the sign of action. Mars in Aries loves what they can't have. Especially when they're like younger or in their teenage years, they really like what they can't have. So mostly it's even like when they have a crush, it's like they have a crush on someone and then they like obsess about them. They're like, oh, I want this person. And then once they have the person, the second that happens, they're not interested anymore. It changes once they get older. And obviously if you have different planetary influences, but yeah, that's a typical Mars and Aries trait. Once they get what they have, they might lose interest quickly. So yeah, it's better to keep it interesting. Um, <laughs> there's this childlike quality to Mars and Aries, but they can also be very stubborn. Like think of Aries, every time like a sign has horns, it's more stubborn. Like number one, stubborn Aries. Number two, stubborn Taurus. Number three, stubborn. Capricorn not so much but like they're more flexible but yeah Taurus Aries horns very stubborn <laughs> once they have what they want whatever love or like an object or something they've been wanting that they couldn't have they might lose interest fast but they always like having a crush it makes them feel alive they always need that Sometimes when that's over and when people like kind of like don't stimulate them anymore, there's no chase they can have. That's when they feel dead inside because they always want to have like a crush. They always want to be like, <sighs> yeah. Especially when they're younger, they have crushes, a lot of crushes like in high school. And then people are like, wait, but do you have a crush on this and this crush on that person? And then like two weeks ago, you had a crush on this person from I don't know why. And they're like, it's just... A little crush mm -hmm, mm -hmm. every time we touch. Yeah, so that's the song I think about when I think about Mars and Aries and their crushes. So Mars and Aries is very fiery. It's element fire, that's why fire and fiery. It's a masculine energy more. It's like they don't wait for things to happen, they go and make things happen. And it's funny, especially when they're drunk, they get very drunk and direct <laughs> and suddenly everything will come out what they wanted to tell you or like they will make a move um it will be like very a bold move and they don't care you go full on against the wall even if it doesn't work 
which is funny. It's like a child that wants something, doesn't care, doesn't strategize that much. Their strategy is like to go for it in the moment now when they feel it. So especially when they're drunk and they're really into the cat and mouse game. Like they might like people who play a little hard to get. It will be like a challenge for them. They love that. They don't like when someone's giving themselves to them, then it's not like, then it wasn't, they didn't win the game, they didn't win the chase. So it's important to not chase them and let them chase you. They have like this no risk, no fun attitude. Um, and it's funny because when they get drunk or like when they like get impulsive in a moment and they do stuff that's a bit crazy and they might have other planets, they might think to themselves like, what the f am I doing? Like how could I just what happened to me like I lit up and I had to get what I wanted at that moment and they may be embarrassed the next day but honestly don't be embarrassed because I like this innocent naive <laughs> in the moment that's what you wanted so what like who cares people like when people have the guts to just be or say something what they feel in a moment that's why it's this Aries childlike fire quality it's just like no I like you <laughs> Mars and Aries is a very physical sign and how they act is like this actions speak louder than words that's the Mars mantra because they sometimes they just do they don't think much before. Even when they have an argument, they might say stuff they don't mean because it all comes out, it explodes out of them, like boom, boom. And that's how Mars is supposed to be. Mars is not supposed to hold things back. Mars is not supposed to be that controlled. Mars is the planet of action, planet of drive, the planet of going ahead. Yeah, Mars and Aries, they snap fast. They forgive fast though. It's like you can have an argument with them and then on for a bit and then you can calm down and like rethink everything but yeah they snap fast and might say things they don't mean no filter no filter they can get angry and aggressive rather quickly especially when others bullshit so be careful because they can relate how does mars and aries get what they want they know what they want they might not like obsess over it for long like once they want something it's in their head and they want to go right into action and go get it. They don't think before they act. Rarely they think before they act. They light up like fire and just go through the wall. Sometimes the method works, sometimes it doesn't. They are very fearless, actually. It can surprise some people because you might be a Cancer or a Virgo and be very like, think about the actions before you act, but like this, someone has Mars and Aries, no matter what sun sign or not, they go. If they want something, they want it now. <laughs> so how can you get from them what you want? Usually playing hard to get. I know it's silly, but with this Mars sign, it actually works. And like to play hard to get in a funny way, not like when it's too much. Again, their mantra is actions speak louder than words. So they expect the same from you. They rather have someone who acts than says something. Like, actions speak louder than words. How else get something from them that you want? How can you manipulate them? Um, if you tell them no, if you like tell them that they are not capable of doing something, or you tell them no, they will like want to prove you wrong. They will want to prove you that they are very well capable of doing stuff. So be careful. <laughs> When you use that, um, they will show you what they are capable of. <laughs> so they can be very anti. You say something, they're like, no, I don't like it. Or like, no, or you tell them, what do you think of this? No. So some celebrities that have Mars and Aries have been saying like, and people tell you no, you can't do this, or give you a no, or tell you no, Mars and Aries will prove you wrong. So Steve Jobs, for example, is a great Mars and Aries example because he fought for a long time with his product. I mean, he has a very unique, amazing, interesting chart um, with a lot of Uranus also. But this planet of action, the drive in his life is this Mars and Aries to like go and go. It's the warrior energy and not stop just because other people tell you no. So who else is um, Mars and Aries celebrity? 
Angelina Jolie, Emma Stone, Asa Brocky, Zoe Kravitz, Courtney Kardashian, Russell Brand, Kate Hudson, Cristiano Ronaldo. We can see a lot of Mars and Aries. His energy is like, Wah! like a child, how he like behaves. Yeah, Mars and Aries doesn't like losing. Um, <laughs> They get upset like a child when they lose. Um, they can get over things more quickly, but in the moment they get very upset. That's why Cristiano Ronaldo is a great example. <laughs> okay, let's go into the juicy stuff. Let's go into um, sex and turn-ons for Mars and Aries. Mars is the planet of sex. The sex style is more on the rough side. <laughs> they get turned on quickly, but can get turned off rather quickly again and they like want to get right into the action they don't need endless foreplay when they want sex they want it now uh, and they want to make it happen now so what are the turn-ons i think they like butts <laughs> men and women um i've realized they're really into like this they like power play they love the chase. They like conquering or being conquered. They sometimes like forced submission. <laughs> uh, playful, hair pulling, and just moments of heat and passion. Well, this was your Mars and Aries. Please comment if you think this sounded like you, if you're Mars and Aries. If you didn't identify so much with this description of Mars and Aries, uh, comment your planets. If you don't know your planets, watch my video on how to find your planets. I'd be interested to know. And please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. If you want a reading, just go on my page, uh, biggerpicture-newyorkcity.com. I offer different kinds of readings. And I'll see you next time.